tail, scratch her back, point and shoot and shoot it fast. Can't touch it. Can't touch it. I don't want to be go under to make sure that you know that you are expressing yourself in a really beautiful manner and also wear a shade that compliments you, you know, like your skin tone. Happy New Year! I hope everyone is having a great 2020 thus far. So let's get this makeup going. 10 minutes. I know I don't got time. Uh, I'm setting my hair right now because it was had a lot of volume. So um, if you're wondering. So here's my moisturizer. I like Airbon. It is animal cruelty free. It's really soft and easy on your face. And so you got to moisturize. Now what I do is I use this um, concealer that's actually I have to order from Amazon, in fact. And it's from Europe. Um, bourgeois it's air matte and um, I love it because it's great for like if you have prego mask or if you have any type of scarring so I mix that and then seasonally you know your tone your skin tone changes so then I add dependent on that and I just use a uh, covergirl clean matte a little super dark mix that all together put that on my Italian medallion skin right now a lot of people use like a sponge I just, you know, put it on with my hands. I think it's just easier. Um, make sure you get it everywhere, nice and evenly, you know, your neck. And then I'm going to wash my hands. I'd like to talk about the new year with you guys and, like, what your resolutions are. I know I got some. So my hands are all clean. Now let's go to the press powder. So what are your guys' goals? Uh, my pressed powder is by Imani and it's like my normal skin color. I believe it's like called honey or depend just doesn't matter. Whatever your skin color is, use that one. So that's just the normal one. I love Imani as well because it's uh, hyperallergenic and animal cruelty free as well. And that is the majority of what's on my skin, the majority of my face. This one I use Imani as well. It's a little bit lighter, and that is just to like highlight the T of my face. Um, you know, like under my eyes and like around my lips. So when I put my lipstick or even just like a tented chapstick, it just looks really natural and nice. So for 2020, I plan on just kind of like reaping the rewards of slaving for almost four years on a product that you've worked really hard on. So developing my, my baby product, there you go. Emily and I, the co-founder, we went, I feel like at twins because when I found out I was pregnant with Venice, um, I also, that same week as when we came up with, with there you go. And Venice is three. You're pregnant for almost an entire year, 10 months. So. So what I'm doing here is I'm just lining my eyebrows. I think it's really important to do like a really nice shape to your eyebrow. Um, I'm not using any specific, I'm just using like an eyeshadow, but um, the proper pencil or the brush, I'm sorry. And you just do a really nice shape. It's, it's like the T to your face. So you really want your shape to look nice when it comes to your brows. And that's just quick. So this whole makeup tutorial is mostly just about like making your skin look really um, fresh and even along with just, you know, the, the basic essentials. Like make sure you just do your eyebrows with a nice shape, a little bit of eyeshadow, a little bit of liner, a little bit of shimmer on the cheeks and a little lip, even like a tinted chapstick and you're ready to go. And you'll feel so good about yourself. And isn't that the whole point? Like you're exhausted, you're tired. Um, nobody wants to do their makeup, but like it really does make you feel good. And going into 2020, I think it's like us hardworking moms, it just makes us feel good. So I'm just doing like a little bit darker of my skin tone eyeshadow just to give it a little bit of depth. Also, you know, I'm not gonna be specific and get all crazy with brand names because ultimately you know use what you like um just i'm really picky with what i put on my actual majority of my face which is my skin um so the pressed powder and also 
the like my concealers it needs to have really great coverage and I love that color that um, the cover girl has a lot of SPF in it as well so so I just do a little um, inner liner on the inner lid and then just the corners on the outside um, for me, like I know liners can be, they can suck sometimes. So if yours isn't going on very well, just put a lighter to it and then it will melt right up and go right on and just, you know, everything's blending. Blend, blend, blend. So here I go. I'm just going to blend, 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 blend. And just do that for like, I don't know, 30 seconds. And now you've just got a really natural, you know, casual... look like l-e-w-k you know the whole point is just to be presentable you also never know who you're gonna run into what what opportunity is gonna knock at the turn of a dime and you just want to feel and look your best and be confident and i know that you're tired you know but it's definitely worth the 10 minutes to just feel really great it's 2020 let's do the best that we can do so let's put some lip on i got some nyx right here doing is NYX which I love um I think I'm gonna like post what I think is like I don't know if there's product I don't know if NYX is great I know it's generics pretty much so you can find it anywhere and it's cheap and then I'm just doing like a just a normal like chapstick gloss on, on top of it after that um it's just easy and uh the truth is is that you are worth it you know feel your best look your best and uh, voila, I think my hair has set long enough. My lip gloss is on top to keep it moisturized. I'm just going to put a little shimmy shimmy on my cheekbones. So if the sun hits it, ooh, that looks nice, you know. And uh, let's take this thing off. Nice, right? And I'm growing it out. But anyway, cheers.